What up everybody, it's your boy Flacco Man, and we are tuning in to just check out the tent. I did a little bit of rearranging. I moved all of our jars that were colonizing, except for those three, to the closet uh, because I had to fit these in. These are Lion's Mane, Black Oyster, Chicken of the Woods, and some Turkey Tail. They let them colonize in here. It's pretty dope. But then we also got our Cubensis strains here. We got Melmac TP. You guys can see it inside there. It is doing great. Taking up that space. Then we also have. The other Melmac TP, the other Melmac TP as well. You can't see them all too great because they are fogged up with condensation. Stormtrooper, doing great as you can see, it always does. It actually looks like there's starting to be some pins in there. Which is great. I did do a grain to grain transfer with some of the left are uh, some uh, of the leftover grains. There wasn't very much, but I did want to do a grain to grain because I didn't want to start from agar all over again. But that is our Stormtrooper. That's our third time running that strain here, or fourth time running that strain here. It's awesome. Uh, time to keep it around too, man. I bought that from Dirty South Mycology last year sometime, and I've been running it since. At least one tub of that. Um, I really like those for the micro doses. They're really, really good. Um, then we got Subtropicalis here, and as you can see, it is doing just great as well. So I can put the picture here we go. Subtrops doing its thing. Just beautiful. Doing great, and the other Subtropicalis as well. doing its thing really really beautiful cannot wait to see them subtropicalis i did leave like i said i left a little bit extra moisture in the substrate whenever i did these instead of squeezing it out completely i left it in there with a little bit more moisture just so they can stay very humid uh subtropical i uh, mean humid climates there's a, it's always really humid in the tropics so i try to get it as humid as possible this tent tent staying at 73 degrees 78 sometimes it goes to 80, so that should be perfect between 70 and 80 degrees for anything. So hopefully those will be doing good. Those were uh, sent to the tub on the 19th. So it's been only, what is it, the 25th, 26th, or 24th? It was a Friday, was the 22nd. Yesterday's 23rd, today's the 24th. So it's only been a few days, five days, and it's already colonized that whole thing pretty much. Right, it just looks good guys it looks righteous So we have four tubs of Melmac adolescence, two tubs of Subtropicalis, and one tub of Stormtroopers currently going in here. Um, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna go grab some jars so we can show you guys that. our Jedi mindfuck or one of them our newer plates um, I did shake this one up a little 
little bit to get it going. And you can see, I don't know if you can see if the camera's gonna pick that up, but there are some little white hairs starting to pull around everywhere in there. Oh, those not, that's not Jedi mind fuck. That is, that is Snape and pink oyster. Holy shit, okay, so that might be either the pink oyster or the snake that's reaching around. I don't know, we're gonna find out. I thought all of those jars went bad. I didn't know I had any more of those left. Huh, okay. This is Timbit, that's gone bad. You can tell by the water rot. I'm gonna have to clean that one out. This is Jack Frost, that's doing good. Roll colonizer on that one. This Jack Frost, not doing as good. Might have dumped that one. Timbit, doing great. Almost done. This is a newer tub of Jack Frost. I mean, a newer jar. We got some stuff going down right there. I need to take this freaking flash off this phone. Got the Jack Frost just did this one. Yeah. Albino chode wave. There we go. Soul Mac. Another Jedi mindfuck. Stormtrooper, the grain to grain transfer. As you can see, it's already taken off on the grains that I was able to save, which is great because that saves us some colonization time. This Stormtrooper genetic is a fast colonizer, so I'll be ready. And, I'll, and I will take a few grains from this one too and transfer them into another two jars before I spawn the bulk so that way we can keep it around. The West African uh, thick Cubensis one that, I, that I'm redoing here. This is from an agar. Um, that one was yesterday, so nothing to show on that. But that's what we got going. I do have some more tubs, I mean some more jars, but these are the ones that actually are showing something. The other ones I just did yesterday, so they do not show anything at all. Um, all the other ones got birthed already. So there's, there's the other jars that we used to have in here with these guys, but they're now in the tubs, so. As these guys get closer, as we birth more, or as these guys right here start fruiting, I will keep you posted and keep you updated. Or as these guys start fruiting, I will keep you updated and posted. Much love.